Hello everyone, Paul here at Rojobi Music. Uh, okay, so today um, I've got a little bit of a project uh, on. So this is my uh, Kiwi fake <laughs> uh, banjo Um So that's supposedly the brand, uh, banjo dot kiwi sidekick. Um, it, I bought it from China, it, it turned out it was a fake, but I have extensively rebuilt this thing. Um, the only original parts left on this little weapon is the, the, the neck and headstock and the fretboard and the, uh, the, the bowl, okay, and, and this is a, a through neck, so it go, joins right way through to the bottom of the bowl. Everything else I've, I've replaced refurbished, upgraded, blah, blah, blah. So it's new tuners, uh, much better tuners, new strings, obviously, uh, the nuts original. Um, the, this, actually this ring around here is original as well, but all the brackets I've added, um, and there's a strap button there, new bridge. Um, and uh, I also fitted a, um, an armrest, which, which I've removed just now, prior to doing the little job on this. So as you can probably see, I've got this fake um, stuff on it, um, which I kind of thought looked cool at the time. Um, but the, the biggest problem is it's, it's deadened the sound, especially as I've got it on the, the head here. It's, it's, um, it's killed the sound. so. What, once I realised that, I thought, ugh, whatever. <laughs> and I just hung, hung it up on the, on the rack and, you know, I've played it a few times, but it doesn't sound as good as it is, as, as it did. So my project today is to remove this stuff um, uh, from, the, from the sides and from, from the top. Originally, I was just going to take this off from the top, but, you know, it just... <sighs> It, you can't really see it, but it, it, it doesn't look very good after all. <laughs> and you know, it's kind of peeling at, at the edge and it, it just looks horrible. And uh, as I said, it deadens the sound. So because I'm removing that as well, what it means is that I'm gonna have to completely strip this thing down, completely strip it down. Um, apart from the, the tuners, I won't need to remove those, but the rest of it, is going to be completely stripped. I did. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I just thought, what the hell? I might as well get it done properly. So some of the tools I'm going to need for this job are Phillips screwdriver, um, a hex drive driver. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of Allen keys and an adjustable spanner. I just use this to take the armrest off. I may not need that again, but it's there if I do. Um, possibly might need a, a heat gun if this is stuck on really really well because it's sticky back um, I may need this to help me to remove it and there may be some glue residue left over so I've got some it's not beer <laughs> it's a um, quick show of the label it's kind of paraffin type stuff um, it's a bit stinky, but it's it may be what I need to remove any glue residue, but I won't know yet till I take it apart. Okay, so let's crack on. So the first thing I need to do is just loosen the strings. And the, these tuners, um, they're, they're ratio tuners, but they do go up and down real quick, so they're, they're pretty good. So I'll just take all the tension off all the strings first. Oh dear, just notice there's a bit of a bit of a boo boo there. That's not nice. Never mind. I don't I don't think that's really causing a problem. It's just just doesn't look very nice. I may or may not deal with that, I don't know yet. Okay, so all the strings are loose, I can now Carefully remove the bridge, and um, obviously it's not a fixed bridge; it's a floating bridge. So you just carefully lay it down and pull it out. 
Uh, this is actually a new bridge. I got this the other day, and uh, it was uh, a bit too high. So um, I and also the the string spacing wasn't right. So I I filed the top of it off uh, to lower it, and I recut the grooves in the in the correct place and re beveled everything, smoothed the edges, and uh, I actually I cut the slots um, a bit deeper. Um, to hold the strings better um, that seems to work quite well and I, I've marked it on the bottom with uh, B which shows me that's the base side so I know which way around it goes okay so now I need to uh, remove the tail piece and that that way I can I can move all the strings right up out of the way and I don't have to remove them from the headstock so that's quite handy so I'll need my hex drive and possibly the Allen key in the top. Okay, boy. Okay. Okay, take that all the way out. And there might still be a bit too much tension on those strings. Let's see. Yeah, I need to loosen those a bit more. Okay, that should be good now. There we go. Okay, so now I can just move those right out of the way. Uh, there we go, that's that out of the way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is um, remove the neck. Um, so that uh, tail piece is attached to a bracket here and there's a screw through there which goes into the, the, the bottom part of the neck. And there's also an Allen screw under here which I'll need to remove and then I can take the whole neck away from the body which will make it much easier to work on. So I will take the Allen screw out first, just because it's a, it's a little bit awkward to get in there. And I have already pre-loosened it so that I could just whip it out on camera. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere. Okay, quite a long thread on this, but that's good because you want it to be stable. Come on, out you come. Oh my God. Okay, that's that out. And take the little screw out from the bottom. Okay, out it comes. All right, so now I can just, whoop, there we go. So I'll put those pieces back in the neck just so that I don't lose them. That's one thing I'm pretty good at, <laughs> losing stuff. Okay, I'll just put that bracket back on the end there. So now I can put this neck out of the way. Uh, it's not going to get damaged and it's not going to get in my way. And this is what I'm left with. So it's just, just the, the pot itself. Okay, so as I said, I added all of these brackets. The, one that, the ones that were on here were completely rubbish. So, uh, and they just, just hooked underneath. And, and then clamped on there and they, they were absolute rubbish. So when I rebuilt this, um, I drilled holes all the way around and put the proper uh, banjo type brackets uh, in here. So um, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now when I start, because this is still ten, up to tension, when I undo these, I'll have to do it like you would removing the um, nuts from a, a, a car wheel. So you start here, and then to here, and then here, 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 here. And you do it a little bit at a time, otherwise, you know, something could go pop. Okay, so I'll start to loosen them off. Actually, they're not all that tight. Ooh, 
Oh, that didn't sound good. What's just cracked? <laughs> I guess I'll see when I take it apart. That didn't sound too clever. Which just shows that it is up to tension. Uh, it did sound as though something went pop there. I hope it wasn't the, the bowl. That will be disastrous. all the tension off now. You can hear it popping and cracking all over the place. This will probably end up being <laughs> at least a two-part video because this is quite quite uh, time consuming. Taking it apart doesn't take too long but putting it back together is a very lengthy process because you have to you know do, do this the same. When you're doing these up you have to alternate them and get them all exactly the same tension and it just it takes ages okay now i'm going to when i remove these i'm going to keep them in the same order that they are now i'm going to put them in a circle on on my bench so that they go back the same way there's probably it's probably not all that necessary but um i just want to be sure that things are going to go back the way they should okay so here comes the first one Take the nut all the way off. A little bit of persuasion. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to take all the nuts off first to allow it to uh, come off straight. Otherwise, you know, damage could occur. don't think it matters that I, if I don't put the nuts on in the same order so long as the hooks go back in the same place and in fact I may be able to kind of leave them in situ on the uh, on the pressure ring I'm not sure yet probably not actually okay that was a little bit tight Yeah, as, as I said, I wasn't originally planning to do this, but I thought, you know, it's it, it, none of it really looks all that good, this, this fake Kevlar or carbon fibre looky-likey type stuff. I mean, it, it, it does look really good as it, you know, as, as what it's supposed to be. Um, and I just thought it would look kind of cool on here, but I was wrong. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Okay, so I may be able to just lift this away. Oh, there's another one there I've missed. But I don't think so. It feels like it's kind of tight. So, let's see how we go. Hmm. Strange. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is... Uh, undo all of these uh, bolts that go through and hold the brackets in because they're, it's, they're kind of angled inwards, okay? So they're not going through there straight. So they're not, they're not all going to come out like that. Um, so I'm gonna loosen all of these first and then, and then remove those, but I'm not gonna record all of that. It's just wasting time. So I'm gonna pause it here and then I'll bring you back when I've made some progress. Okay, a mere fraction of a second for you, but probably five or ten minutes for me. Uh, so I've got all of the brackets off apart from one, just taking the last one off now. Some of the uh, washers have basically stuck on the inside. <laughs> well, that's not a problem, I'll just leave them there. Okay, so that's the last one removed. And just take the screw out as well. Okay. And that's it. So that's the top edge of the of the rim there. Okay. So um, 
Let's see. Uh, which one shall I start with? I'm going to start with this because I think it will just be a bit easier. <laughs> Perhaps that isn't the right way to go. So there is a join here somewhere. Okay, just here. So this would have been underneath the bracket. Um, yeah, that's why I covered it up. I remember now. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's got to come off. It's horrible. I'll decide what to do with that later. Yeah, I'd, I'd rubbed all the previous paint down. That's why I'd put that on there. Oh, I haven't removed the strap button. Let's just get rid of that. Where's my foot? the rim yeah looks a bit nasty because I've rubbed all the paint down with the with the intention of putting this stuff on but I'll have to come up with something else for that I'm not quite sure what yet um, I do have some black paint um, but it's just it's heat resistant paint <laughs> uh, but I think that's what I've done the inside of this with anyway. So it's uh, it's quite a nice matte black finish. So that's probably what I'll do with that. Right, so let's see how well this will come off of the head. Hoping it won't be too bad, but I'm not sure yet because it, it's sticky back and it's on plastic. So it may have bonded quite well, but we'll see. Here we go. And if I do damage this, um, I have got a spare somewhere. But I think we'll be all right. It seems to be coming off okay. It is going to leave some glue, I'm sure. It seems to be coming off all right, which is good. I don't want to rush it. I mean, one, one of the reasons I did put this on as well was because this head is not a particularly good quality one. It's quite flimsy. And I wasn't getting the tension from it. Um, so I may, I may actually uh, put my other head on this one. I'm not sure yet. The problem is, you know, the, the only way you can tell if, it, if it's if it's any good is to put it put it on put all the brackets on get them all up to tension and that's quite a long process and to you know to get to that stage and find that it's no good and then have to you know take it all apart and do the whole thing again it's it's a bit annoying <laughs> let's say yeah it's, it's coming off really clean actually it's not leaving any glue behind um, seems to be fine Nearly there. Ooh, there we go. Ah, okay. All right. Let's get rid of that junk. Oh no. It's stuck to my. It's stuck to this. <laughs> Luckily, that's coated with um, cello tape, so that, that came off of there without ripping that apart. Okay. So, yeah, that's really flimsy never was particularly happy with that. Um, okay, I'm going to pause again and just see if I can find the other the head that I've got, which is the original one that was on it actually. Okay, so this is the original head that came off, uh, quite a nice pattern on it, um, but the reason I got this one and changed it is because, same reason, it's very flimsy and I didn't seem to be getting the tension on it. Now, is one more flimsy than the other? <coughs> There's not really much in it. I mean, they're both they're cheap, cheap and nasty. <clears throat> yeah, I'd, I'd say this one is a little more, a little more flimsy than than the original one. So I don't know the original one or the black one. 
Um, I mean, bear in mind, I'm going to be going to be painting this black. So, I mean, you know, when I when I rebuilt this, I did I did it all black, and I specifically got a black head. I wanted it to all you know look the same. Uh, so I'm not sure what to do. Um, and I'm kind of getting towards the end of my limit for this video anyway. So, hmm, I'm not sure. Should I put the black one back on because I'm going to be painting this black and it will, to be honest, look better if it's all the same. Or go back to the original one, which does, I've got to be honest, it does seem a little bit stiffer. Not much, but a bit. And when, when this was on there, it, it, that's when it still had the original brackets on, which were rubbish. And there was only six of them. I mean, I've got 12, 13 on there now. And it, so it, it, it spreads the tension. You can get a lot more tension on it. So, I don't know. I might go with this one. I'm not sure yet. Haven't decided. Um, but as it is, I'm going to need to uh, do something with this because it looks a bit nasty. Uh, it's, it is quite rough, um, but I don't think I'm going to, I actually don't think I'm going to sand it. I think I'm just going to spray it as it is. Uh, yeah, I am. Because, I mean, it, it's quite sort of matte and rough on the inside, so, and, and you know, it's, I mean, a lot of it's going to be covered up with the brackets and everything anyway. You don't really see it that much and you know it's only me that's going to be playing it i'm not going to be playing it on stage or anything like that so you know it's just a fun instrument so i think i might um yeah i'm just going to paint it black it'll be matte black um but I, i've got to decide on these i'm probably i'm 60 percent towards this one at the moment but i'm not sure yet Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. It is definitely going to be a two-parter, um, possibly three, depending on how long it takes. Um, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, give a thumbs up, like, comment, share. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because I am uploading videos on a fairly regular basis um, for the past couple of months it's been about sort of two a week on average and uh, I'm not getting that many views at the moment so I'm going to try and get that up so um, yeah so I'm gonna make a decision on, on which of these heads I'm gonna go with um, I really don't know yet uh, so we will see you in part two, possibly three and four. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Uh, so in the meantime, please take care. Peace out.